This is Enzo Eigen of the Alliance for Loki, and this is Alliance War Season 13, War Number 5. So I believe this is the old ISO 8A alliance. We see they have a new name, or this is just a different alliance called Xylem. And as usual, I'm running Path 7, the hidden node path. And I first, before I set my attack team, I go take a look at it. And I'm incredibly happy to see that Annihilus is over on the other lane. Which is great news because I hate fighting Annihilus and I had to fight him last war and I don't want to fight him again. So I set up my team. It's my usual team of Corvus, Omega, Red, and Void. It's a very good team for many situations and very helpful in war in general. And it's been the team I've been running all season. So, so I coordinate with Dreamin' and Clownius Clown. We go over to the first section and we just... Uh, it takes us, I think, about an hour or two after war to get our energy, so we all have enough energy to get to the end. And if we play it well, we all take turns moving in this first section. That way no one uses all their energy, and it's the most efficient way of getting to the fights as quickly as possible. So I have the scouting lens on and the mastery, so I'm going to go up to the first fight, and I see it's a mutant, and I see um, already Dream and Clownius are on the move. So Clownius is on path 8. He has his usual fight of champion and void and he's going to wait for me to clear the link. So I go ahead and run the scouting mastery and I find it's Havoc which is great because I fought Havoc last war and he turns out to be a pretty reasonable fight with Omega Red. So I'm going to do exactly the same just sort of <coughs> counter attack the heavies and put my degen on and just sort of play it slow and easy and try to just disintegrate him as much as possible. So this war, I am, you know, I'm hoping to go through Deathless, of course, and I'm pretty confident about this first fight. So right away, I sort of don't even go after the heavy. I just couldn't quite get my my heavy attack off, and so it's better better to be safe than sorry. So I just sort of um, waited, hit into his block some just to work on getting his uh, his charges up, my uh, death spores up, I mean. And again, now I'm just hitting into his block and getting in the degen. Not really paid too much attention to Bane, I must admit. And so right here, the Bane transformer is over on me. I spent a little bit of time in it, but luckily get the um, my heavy counter and transfer it back over pretty quickly. So you see he's gaining power. He has sort of that power, passive power gain. And right here, I'm pretty close to killing him and sort of make a strategic decision that I'm just going to go for it. So I get one more degen on him, push him pretty close to an SP3. It's a little bit of a risk there. His SP3 does a lot of damage, and then I just go for it and finish him off. So good fight, a little bit of a risk, um, but I'd rather I'd rather sort of play that stun immune style than risk getting his um, SP2 at that point because his SP2 hits really hard as well, and I don't always do dodge it very cleanly. So. So that was um, the first fight. Now you can see Clownius, he goes in right after me against the champion. And I get to my next fight and I see it's a skill. And so when I run the scatter bot, I get, you know, the Gwenpool, Black Widow. I can't remember who the third champion is, but I actually know it's Elsa. So Elsa is always a little scary because I don't really know her animations or her specials too well. I fought her last war and did pretty well against her with Omega, and so this war I'm hoping for the same. So I put on a cosmic, I mean a combat regen boost. I think I have one or two in the overflow. And this note is hard because it's masochism, and it's also this bubble shield, so 10 hits and she becomes unblockable the next hit. And then it also has, on top of that, she's a small character, she, she has the evade as well. Along with, I think she has her own passive evade. She is running suicides, I learned, because I see that she fires a special and has recoil. And so there I get clipped. Um, you know, it's sort of funny, I was um, I was trying to uh, trying to play around the uh, masochism note, but I, I got the parry right off the bat, which surprised me. So I wasn't quite sure what's going on, and then I sort of lost track of, of that and, and the timer. But you can see she's regenerating, so masochism certainly is in effect. Throw my SP2, it's great. I got some nice... Degen on her, you know, worried about her SP, um, SP, um, or special, special two, because she's built enough power. Just waiting for it. I wait, take it, does a fair bit of damage, and, you know, it's getting pretty close here. And so she goes unblockable, knocks me down a fair chunk, and now I'm trying to fight for my life. And here I totally forget, of course, that I'm going to die because of Reaper Coil. So, so I throw my SP2, hoping to kill her, or at Really, I wasn't. Well, I knew I wasn't going to kill her. I was hoping to get my death field up and degenerate to death, but I ended up dying because of recoil, since I had so little health left. So that was not great. Um, 
Yeah, that's a hard fight for me. I need to really learn her SP, her specials better, and just her whole animations. I don't even have her as a 3-star or a 4-star or a 5-star, so I can't even really play with her to see what things are like. So I need to find a good dual target just to just to tr get get more in tune with how she plays. So I heal up Omega Red. I don't heal him up all the way just because I, I'm not sure if I'm going to need him anymore this war and I don't want to waste potions. Not so worried about the number of potions I use, but rather the potion limit uh, in war. And so so again my goal is just to uh, just to try to play around with the D Gen. You know, just doing forehead combos. Don't wanna have her evade, activate. You can see here it gets some nice D Gen on her and then she just dies by running into me. So Easy enough, of course she had very little health left and, and that finished that fight. So after this, of course, the paths of 7A9 converge in the mini boss. It's uh, the Aegis Heavy, where you need six heavy attacks. And so my scouting lens is pretty key in this to go over there and take a look at it. So I wait for Dreamin and Clownius to finish their fights because you can't scout it when it's linked. I go over scout it, turns out to be Agent Venom, and I let Clownius and Dreamin take care of that. So I use it the last of my energy just to move to the mini, and then I'm done for the day. Actually, it's night. So the next day I wake up, back over to path 7. And so I'm going to do all these fights at once. I have only one on the section 2 path 7, the other one's empty. And then I have another fight, uh, the Mephisto, where all the uh, paths come together, which is pretty normal. I think I've fought Mephisto four out of the five times. I scout this, I see it's Iceman. You know, I know I'm going all out in this war, in this fight, so I'm going all the way against the mini boss. I put on lots of big Corvus boosts, lots of big boosts in general, and I head in for this fight. So this fight's tricky because again, I take it linked, and this link node has the power ups, or every time he gains a bar power, he gains like 5% everything power up, um, critical raid, armor, everything you can think of. Um, so, you know, I'm going to try to, of course, get the SP2 and finish him. And, you know, he has a lot of power. So he starts off with one bar power, gets his second bar. I'm much more comfortable actually dodging the uh, special two than the special one. I do dodge the special one, but forget to sort of punish it. And then go in. I wait right there because I don't want to build him up to that bar power. I'd rather get my SP2. I'm hoping it kills him. It doesn't. And now I'm at a um, another SP2, and the second one kills him. And so, that yeah, was a good fight. Those fights are always, always a little bit scary. It doesn't take much. One mistake, and yeah, you're in big trouble. So, so I was glad that went okay. You got a charge, which was important because I had the mini, bite, mini boss fight, and so I wanted that extra damage for having one mission. So now I'm just waiting for my two alliance mates. I can't remember. I think I'm running with Dap and Taters, maybe. I can't remember who's the third person. So of course Mephisto is a void fight, so that means it is time to change all my masteries to the void masteries, and so I do all that, and then by that time everyone's cleared, and so off I go to fight Mephisto. So this fight's gone well for me, though I have taken a lot of damage on it because I think it's called Close Encounters, and so as I'm close to him, I gain health 1% a second, but if I'm far away from my DGN, 3%, and so I put on the combat regen boost. Again, I feel like I have I think I had two of them in the overflow, so I might as well use them, and I'm going in against him. And again, my goal is just to fight pretty aggressively, try to stay close to him, um, and just be careful about his specials and his power. So, so I miss the parry right off the bat, and then go in and start attacking him. It's his aura, but the aura is pretty much meaningless for Void since I am incinerate immune. He throws a special very quick, which is lovely, and now I'm back in. So the combat regen boost is really mitigating a lot of the damage I take from the um, from the um, node and so so it's pretty good and then I block the special and I've built up to an SP2 I sort of forgot to throw my throw my SP1 so I went with the SP2 instead once I had it uh, again puts a nice little degen on him through I can't remember what the debuff is called but you know that's helping kill him so again throw an SP1 the regen starts but it doesn't get any regen because I've absolutely blocked it and now I'm going in again, and yeah, the fight's pretty close to being over. I'm trying to stay close to him, just to let my degens work and get a little bit of extra health. And I kill him with, I think, around 70% health, which is pretty good. Usually I end up in, like, below 50%, so I'm happy with that, just because it means I don't have to use many potions. 
So my last assigned fight of this war is the mini boss. I can't remember what node it is, but it's where that Mysterio is. And so, again, using Corvus, I'm going to go fight him. I have to wait till I get a path cleared, so I have this spider going in the way, and I'm going to wait till Dap Quake styles her. So Dap goes in, Quake styles her, and clears the path for me. And so I go over now, and I'm going to have enough energy to get to um, to get to that mini. And so I make my move, and then I go up to the fight. So this fight, you know, I'm always worried about minis. They're always pretty powerful. I fought a Mephisto, not sorry, a Mysterio last war on a debuff immune and did well against him. But I had three charges, now I have one charge or one mission, and that's a big difference. I have, you know, the full Corvus boost on, the 200%, the 12%, um, and I heal him up. He doesn't need too much healing, luckily, because he's actually doing pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to go do this fight. So this fight is debuff immune, and I think there's also, I can't remember what the name of this node is, but the one where, maybe it's Dismay, where if you get hit, you take damage equal to this combo. Um, and then, yeah, so, yeah, my goal is just to play it stun immune style, bait out his heavies. I find his heavies really easy to dodge, get to my SP2, and kill him. And so, so that is the plan. This Mysterio, you know, he hits pretty hard, so of course, you know, I don't want to um, play too slowly against him. I'm going to try to finish him off quick. Um, actually, my 8% boost inspires, so I put on the 12% boost for the, for, the, um, for the fight, and I use my power boost. I'm running low on power boost, so I only have two left, which is a pretty key ingredient a lot of times with Corvus. And so now I'm ready to fight against him. And yeah, again, just baiting heavies, combo, and looking for the SP2. So, you know, he throws his heavy, easy counter. So when last time I was fighting with all my charges, I think I was doing like 11,000 damage on my medium. You can see I'm not doing nearly as much, but have the SP2. So do my combo, and in I go. I got another SP2, which is great. And then I go in, do my combo, and great except he's down to two percent he catches me with the heavy and luckily the last man just threw my sp2 even though i was knocked down it still was enough to do to two percent damage so that was a pretty uh, lucky lucky war right there it's right at the end of this that i realized i still had my suicide set up for void so i actually didn't have um, my excuse me my mastery set up for void it's so actually didn't have suicides on which was a big mistake i mean i absolutely would have crushed him and so yeah that was that was not very good, and it's going to become a trend for me this season to make mistakes like that. So, my Corvus is doing well, and I get the call. Why don't you go ahead and take down Arcus? At first, I was scheduled to take down Hyperion, but uh, I felt like that was a really hard matchup with the... He has that, what is it, the Plague Mine, and you lose 20 seconds, you lose all your power, and unless I killed him on my first SP2, I was worried I wouldn't uh, kill him at all because then I'd keep on losing power and not be able to build back up if I ran out of glaive charges. So Arcus this is a tough fight. I've fought it before and lost. Um, you know he builds up a lot of power quickly. I do have two um, two of the um, missions so I'm going to do a lot of damage. I get my advanced power boost and I don't want him to throw his SP2 because that's too dangerous. So again I'm going to fight him stun immune. He can shrug off debuffs like I think he shrugs off the first non-damaging debuff with a pretty high percentage so again just go bait out his heavy who well, actually here I just counter him because there's an opening and you know he throws his heavy I probably should be more aggressive there but I do this time get the counter and I get my sp2 and I hope I kill him and I don't and here's where I screw up so I have it right now I should throw the sp2 um, but you know he's attacking into me and I want to get a little closer because I'm dodging his heavy and I think okay it's fine I'm just gonna eat the sp3 and everything will be all right and then I'll just go back in and sp2 him so so yeah, I let him fire up his SP3. The icy hand of Arcus comes and beats me a little bit and gives me a good toss. And I'm like, okay, fine. You know, now I'm going to just kill him. But then I realize, oh no, he knocked me up to an SP3. And then even worse is I panic and I throw my SP3, but I have my glaive charges down because I was knocked down by the special. So I do almost no damage, which means I'm not going to regain much power. And now I'm in huge trouble. So here I am sitting here. 
He throws his SP2. It's unblockable. You know, I managed to survive, but the extra damage, I think, from the cold snap kills me. And that's the end of that. I had my chance. You know, I had those two seconds, three seconds, where I could have killed him. I just need, needed to throw the SP2 again, and he would have been dead, but I missed it. And so that's my second death of this war. I think if I fought this fight again, I might finally be able to... to um, beat him but you know it's the thing about war is um, you know, again you get these one chance in these high stake environments and you might not get them again so thank you all very much for watching this has been Enzo Eigen of the Alliance for Loki wishing everyone a good day tschüss and goodbye until next war